God fucking piece of shit phone, piece of shit fucking car, head unit, dashboard, piece of fucking shit everything. Good morning. Just kidding, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. It's like evening. It's like 8 p.m. almost. It's like, uh, let's see. Fuck, it. Fuck dude, it's 7.50. 7.50, my first time talking into my phone today. That's uh, dangerously close to normalcy. Um, the reason I haven't talked all day or this weekend is because, first of all, weather's been shit. So I'd be able to go anywhere. Second of all, I've been working, working hard. Um, as some of you may know, I'm a, a businessman, an entrepreneur capitalist, a true capitalist, and um, I, uh, I hired some guys recently, and I finally feel comfortable uh, that they can do the shit that I did previously to uh, maintain my businesses, so what they're doing is they're doing the day-to-day, -day, doing the, the management of the company, doing the ordering, making sure shit runs smoothly, and now I, I have time to grow, to focus, um, on growth. And so what I've been doing is I've been going through my website and cleaning up the code, uh, making it all neat and pretty, and also I'm expanding. I'm um, I'm getting more products that I can sell. More uh, more opportunities to make fucking bank. That's what I want to do. So I bet I, I woke up at like noon today. I usually go, don't go to bed till like 4 in the morning. Um, my schedule is like 4 to 11. Uh, 4 a.m. to 11 p.m. I'm asleep. Rest of the day, I'm working. So I got up, got started around noon. Um, I had some delicious yogurt. God fucking, what the fuck? Why is my fucking phone? I know why, because I'm, because I'm driving through downtown. And I'm, I'm going to Meyer <laughs> to buy some food for the week. For my belly. Oh, I'm hungry. I gotta get some fruit and shit and some vegetables and some meat. Anyways, I just fucking have been doing website shit all day, coding and photoshopping and illustratoring and doing all that shit. Um, what I like to do is I bootstrap the fuck out of an idea. Um, so I do it all myself, uh, do all the, the coding and the SEO and all the, all the, like if you see a really shitty website, like, oh, someone made that himself probably. That's what I do. And then when it's all set up to my satisfaction, I send it over to somebody else and they finalize it. Um, and they make it look pretty, cause I don't, I don't gotta, I, I don't do pretty things. I'm all about functionality, utility, pragmatism. But um, I'm at a red light, and so I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see if my phone flips over when I accelerate. Anyway, so that's what I'm just saying. It's just been a, just been a low key weekend. It's been like 48, 40. It, it was fucking. My grandma texted me this morning. A picture of her front porch. She lives way up fucking northern Michigan. And it was snowing. She goes, ha ha ha, snow squalls. It's not funny. But it's like 45 down here. It's gonna be in the 70s and 80s this week, so I don't give a fuck. I mean, I do care. I was pissed off. I was like, to wake up to like something so um, irritating. Bad start to the day. But um, yeah, you know, it's cause summer's coming. This is like the last, the last uh, vestige of hope for winter. And now it's gonna be all sunshine. Um, and so it's just gonna be cut off tees and jean shorts and cookouts for me. Barbecue for your boy. <sighs> what am I doing this week? I was supposed to go to fucking Chicago for the goddamn candy and sweets expo. But those motherfuckers haven't seen my credentials yet. I got, I'm supposed to get like all these fucking fancy passes to go and like chat up importers and that kind of shit. Which is fun because like, I'm the only dude not wearing a suit and tie there. And I, I kind of like that. I kind of like being, you know, I'm the youngest person there usually and I'm the, the worst dressed in terms of like fanciness. And it's kind of like, you know, empowering in a sense to say, hey, I fucking got here despite being a grub. You know, so fucking take me seriously because obviously I got the business acumen to back up 
because it's not suits and ties, it's not connections, it's not nepotism. It's all just me hustling from the ground. And I like that. But at the same time, I do, I, you know, I have this constant inner struggle to be fancier and to like change my appearance to um, better capitalize on people's uh, subconscious or like slightly conscious um, uh, assertions. Uh, uh, on these thought paradigms and, and, and these, you know, could people think if you dress nice, you're successful, right? That's what it, that's what it comes down to. Um, but I got this theory that, likewise, the same way you see a fucking like rapper with like gold chains, like, oh shit, even though he isn't wearing a suit and tie, I bet he's making a lot of fucking money. Um, I don't wear a lot of gold chains, but I figure like if I can put myself in a in an environment where I'm like the biggest outlier people will assume A, I either snuck in, which is, you know, that's in my personality, I might do that, I, I do like to sneak, <laughs> uh, or B, like, oh shit, despite his appearance, this motherfucker's killing it, um, and if, even, you know, if they have that voice inflection too, all the better, uh, but that's just kind of like this thing I've been struggling with, and so <laughs> I, bought, I bought a bunch of like turquoise jewelry and like pinky rings that I wear now, I'm just trying, <laughs> that was like, in my weird mind, that's the compromise. Like, well, I'm not gonna wear suits, but I am gonna wear pinky rings and turquoise bolo ties. Like, what? everyone else is like, what? And I'm like, oh, because I'm trying to, I'm, tr I'm trying to create an image, right? And everyone's like, no, man, you're just making everybody uncomfortable. People think you're a fucking like Wild West hip hop cowboy. Chill. My mom said to me, she's like, chill, Blake. <laughs> I'm kidding, she doesn't say that. Um, but that's it. That's just me doing another vlog today. Telling you about how I'm making a website. <laughs> Expressing my bullshit concerns about being viewed as not successful. As if that matters. I mean, it does when you're like a CEO of a company and you got to form connections. But like really, 90% of what you do is not on how you look. It's based on like your fucking deliverables. So I'm just mostly kind of griping. Um, because it's much easier to complain about things that are intangible, uh, as opposed to the, the, you know, the tangible reasons you've been denied exclusivity or whatever into an exclusive club. Exclusiveness. Uh, so I'm just bitching about that. I mean, honestly, I'm not really concerned. I'm just musing, conversing with myself. See you tomorrow.